G'day everybody, it's the Christian Footballer back here with another video. Now I know it's been a while guys, but today I'm really excited to drop this video for all of you guys because it is the start of another Week as a Pro series. It's going to be another seven part series. Now the video you're about to see was filmed over three weeks ago when me and my family went on holidays and I took the opportunity to have a second go at a week as a pro. I'm really excited to share this week with you guys and I'm sure it'll be a step up from the last time I tried to do a week as a pro. But before we get into day one of my week as a pro, we have to rewind a bit to the afternoon before my week starts where I'm organizing the days ahead. Okay everybody, so we've just gotten to our holiday location and my first job on my to-do list is to find a soccer field. And I've found one about six minutes from where we're staying, which is really good. My second week as a pro starts tomorrow, and I haven't really done any organisation whatsoever. It's like nearly five o'clock in the afternoon right now, so I'm basically going to be planning out the whole thing between now and tonight. Still got a loud format for all the videos, so we've got a lot to do. But anyway, I found a soccer field, which was the most important thing. I'm happy about that. And now I've got to go home and start planning this week out. Okay guys, so it's now 8.15 in the morning and I'm going out to the shops to get some food for the day. For the following days in this series, I'll just skip the shopping part of the video. But basically the first thing I'll be doing every morning is going out and shopping for the day. So let's do this. Okay guys, so we're here at the shops now and I have quite a big list of stuff to get here, especially for one day. This is why I'm not going to do the whole week shopping because it's just going to be crazy, loads of stuff. And uh, to be honest, stuff will probably get eaten by other family members. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to get out now and start shopping. Okay guys, so we've got all our food, I'm going to go back to the house now, get it all out and make breakfast up and I'll show you what that is. Okay guys, so for breakfast I just had three eggs and two whole meal pieces of bread with peanut butter on them. Okay guys, I'm down at the field now to start training. To kick off this week, what I'm going to do is a couple of sprints down here on the oval. And I'm going to go down to the beach and do some more sprinting down on the sand. The purpose of doing the sprints here on this field is more of a test. I'm going to do it again right at the end of this week. Uh, one of the things I really want to work on during this week is my speed overall. Not specifically acceleration, but just overall speed over longer distances like 40 to 80 maybe 100 meter sprints just getting that overall speed better so I'm going to do that now to kick off the week and then at the end of the week plan is now I'm just going to set up some cones I'm going to do a 20 meter sprint a 40 meter sprint and a 100 meter sprint down here at the oval and then I'm going to go down to the beach so let's get into it
After doing those test sprints, I headed down to the beach to do some more sprinting and some agility drills. So for lunch, I filled up on a whole meal tortilla with chicken breast and broccoli. So guys, before this video continues, I just wanted to make a quick interruption just to talk a little bit about the current circumstances many of us are finding ourselves in with the coronavirus. Before I get into that though, I just want to say in the following videos of this seven part series, I'm going to be having a short segment pop up some point during the video about football facts and ideas. I was going to do one for this video as well, but I decided to do this instead, seeing as how it's a bit more relevant and seeing as how this short series was filmed more than three weeks ago, I probably won't be talking about the coronavirus at all. So I thought I'd give you guys some quick ideas on what you can do to stay active during this period. Number one is just stay in shape and stay sharp with the ball. I'm going to be leaving links in the description to a full body weight workout that you can do at home. If you guys usually go to the gym or something and you can't do that anymore, then this will be perfect for you. And I'm also going to be leaving a link to tight space soccer drills for those of you who want to keep sharp with the ball during this period of soccer. If you guys aren't interested in forcing yourself to do soccer, with the tight space and the limitations and stuff like that, that's understandable. This is the perfect time to get into something that maybe you've sort of wanted to get into, but you've been busy doing soccer or you play on the weekends or something like that, and you just haven't had time for it. Maybe there's some individual sport that you'd like to get into, maybe mountain biking or something of that sort. I've been getting into mountain biking a bit, I'm still no good at it, but it's something to help keep me active during this time when there's no organised soccer stuff on. I still go down and train by myself, but there's something you guys might want to think about to take advantage of this time you have on your hands now. That's it from me now, let's get back into the video. Okay guys, so I'm just going to have a little snack before I go out to the gym, just a pre-workout snack. I've got these little, this bowl of um, almond and cashew protein clusters, and just some Greek yoghurt. And I'm just going to have that and then I'm going to head off to the gym. So guys, for this workout I'm following a video done by Jarrett Campisi titled Track Lifting Routine. And in it he runs through a workout designed to get you faster. He's not a soccer player but it looks like he has a bit of experience training for track. And because one of my main goals this week is to get faster, this workout will do well. I did make some adjustments to this workout, so it's a bit different to the one he posted originally, but what I'm mainly focusing on is getting those main leg exercises in.
All right, guys, I just finished my workout. That's one of the hardest workouts I've done, and I can already feel that I'm going to be really sore. If you guys watched the first week of me trying to live as a pro, you would have known that I also did a workout and ended up having to do my recovery day straight afterwards. I wanted to save it for the last of the seven days, but I couldn't do that just because I wasn't able to train the day after. This week, I'm prepared for this, and this afternoon, I'm going to be doing a much more extensive stretch and hopefully some rolling not with a foam roller but with a soccer ball generally get the same job done gonna get a nice long recovery session in i'm gonna head back to the house now and grab something to eat just to time me over till dinner but uh, yeah we'll just cut to that so here guys i just have some apples strawberries and greek yogurt this meal was originally supposed to be a smoothie but during this entire week i'm going to be substituting any smoothies in the meal plan for something like this with the same sort of ingredients as the smoothie just in a different form <laughs> Get out! Okay guys, so for dinner I just had some lean beef sausages on top of some brown rice pasta which I think is similar to whole wheat pasta and had a bit of parmesan cheese on top. After having dinner we just relaxed and watched a movie and then I headed off to bed to get a good night's sleep for day two. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video. I'm so excited to share the rest of the week with you guys. For this seven part series coming out I'm still planning to bring out the videos every week. If I can, I might do two a week, but we'll see how we go. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button as well. Be sure to leave any comments you have down below, and I hope you'll have an amazing week. I'll see you all very soon.